It is very cold in Australia right now. Why? Because it's winter. But also today was the shortest amount of sunlight that you get. The winter winter solstice has now kicked in. It was cold no matter where you happen to be. If you happen to be ever so slightly elevated, it was really cold on the East Coast. And people find ways to mark, or dare I say celebrate, this particular moment, which I always find quite odd. But in Antarctica, they jump into the water. In Coogee, in Sydney, they did yoga as the sun came up on the shortest day of the year. But of course, in both of those occasions, you're able to do that because you were able to warm yourself up. You were able to find heating that would make life more comfortable. It's something that millions of people will be doing right now, trying to find a comfortable way through the night. But the reality of the hottest of days and the coldest of days is there are thousands of Australians who will not be doing that, who should be. They are putting their health at risk. Why? Because they can't afford to heat their homes. We learned today that 90,000 families are currently struggling when it comes to paying their bills. And that's just with one particular company. The number of Australian households that are struggling to pay their electricity bills has grown by 50% in the past year. Falling temperatures and rising prices, pushing more families to the edge. From Origin Energy, we learn as of May, 70,000 families were on the hardship programs. That's up 50% since the same time last year. Another company, AGL, has previously reported 19,500 people on their hardship program. The expectations are that even more people will go onto this as winter bites, including on the shortest and beginning of one of the coldest days of the year.